Hey YouTube, today I'm going to show you how to install a Zeppelin mod. And if you don't already know, the Zeppelin mod is uh, this mod that makes you be able to move a craft through the air. I will show you how to install it at the end of the video, so if you want to skip near the end ish, you'll be able to find out. But I'm going to show you what it does first. So, what it does is, virtually it moves a little craft, and it, I say little, but you can make it any, this, any size you want, and it moves it. Um, it moves like houses around which is virtually like a fine house and then um, it's quite good and I really enjoy using it and it's a brilliant mod and um, there's a few bugs to it uh, the first bug is you can't use some materials you can't use stone on the zeppelin you can't use sand on the zeppelin and you can't use dirt on the zeppelin and monster spawners and I think lava and stuff you can't use that on the zeppelin I think you can use water, but I'm not sure. So anyway, this is the zeppelin that I made. Um, it has that is the booth to where I fly it from. So this is really it. Um, it's quite good. It's a simple zeppelin that I made. Um, it can take bush uh, crafts and everything like that. It's really good. So you need to know how to fly it. To fly, it, you're gonna need controls and do controls and click on controls like. Well, obviously, these are the normal controls you have, and after this, these are the other controls you have. You have cross backwards, cross left, cross right, cross stop, cross down, cross align, cross forward. But you can't reach that because it's underdone unless you have a different type of computer. My computer can't reach it, so other types can. And then there's one that shows you the button, but not what it says. This one, after testing, it means up. So that's all you really need. I can't go backward. I can't go um, forward, so I have to go backwards. But it's all right because if you've got another computer, that's fine. It's one of the number pads. So if you have a number pad, you're on a big a laptop or a main computer, that'll be better. So anyway, to fly it, you need to use one of these, which is a steering wheel. And what you need to do those is uh, you need to put it up somewhere you can see, so you know where you're flying really. So if you take that out, um, and this is where I put my other one, which is here. So you left click on it, and it shows you the size. And then I want to go up. Oh, you right click it. You tap U for for me every time how fast you want to go up, and then go down for me. It's P. So and go down to go backwards. It's um. There, uh, like the backwards button. So I'm going backwards right now, and sideways and left and right. You lose loads like of different ones. It's a bit laggy when I'm videoing for it because obviously it's a big like mod. So I'll take up quite a few. So I'm just gonna go down now, and then um, so I'm stopped. So I'm gonna align the craft just here. You can make it hover, which is quite good. And um, so. I think I'm like virtually in the same position as before I am, so really I did everything right. It's a perfect mod for new modders because it's really easy to install. I'm going to show you how in the next part. Here we go, YouTube. Hello, YouTube. I'm back and I'm going to show you this part is how to install it. Uh, I don't know why I call it a part because it's the same video, but you know. So I'm on my home screen right now. Uh, if you watched my last video, that's Zombie Craft. Obviously, the legendary Team the Atoms Minecraft the server that I have. I'm going to make a Minecraft server that is online for everyone to join. If you'd like to join, I'll keep it free. Um, I might not put a maximum, but I might put a maximum, maybe 20 people on at once. Because I had a server on my old YouTube account and it got overwhelmed and people started destroying my houses and it wasn't very fun. So. This time I'm gonna make sure that I'm not gonna opt anyone. So if you wanna make things, you wanna make them yourself. And um, I will only opt them if I get a personal request from a YouTuber. And I will make it if I get enough requests that you don't need a Minecraft account to join. I mean, you can join if you have a Minecraft, but if you don't, you can use this weird uh, thing called Log Me and Hanichi, which I'll put a tutorial on how to do some other day I think depends I can be bored. so anyway these are the two things you'll need Zeppelin mod 
uh, the mod folder, the zip, and the mod loader, which you need for Nelly and mod. The link is this for the Zeppelin mods. I will put it in the description below, so you don't need to like personally copy it out. But there you go. It's just down in the description below. And how to install? It's pretty easy. You just go on a uh, you start and then put percent uh, data percent, and you'll have roaming. Or if you don't have that, you might have a little thing right here which will say run. And what you do is, I'd go to run, and then that would come up, and then you just put in percent app data percent. The good thing about run is it keeps so it keeps what you have to put in. So I like to use run on my computer, so I can just quickly like type in and it comes to this. You come to roaming here. I'm gonna go on your dot Minecraft. Usually, dot Minecraft would be empty, and you wouldn't have any of this. We well, have last login options, but you wouldn't have any of that. You'd go to bin. I will not do it because uh, I've already got it installed. But what you would do is you go Minecraft jar. You go no, you scroll down and see this set set the mod. That 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 I've already got it in right. But what you would do is you'd open mod loader. You'd select all them. Move along here and you drag and you drop it into the class file, right? Don't put it on, on top of any folders in case the um in case like uh it drops into a folder, so you just have to scroll down a bit. Then you'd open your mod zeppelin and then you'd see this right, you have to the select both of them and again drop them into class files. Once you've done that, that's it installed, really easy mod. Thanks for watching YouTube. Serve a video coming up within the next two days, maybe, or maybe even today, um, or tomorrow. Okay, thanks YouTube. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Really helps. Thank you.